Well, this is Little Savage, and I would like to introduce you to her Not a Book series. I, this is the first book in a series, and I call it A Comic Book for Your Smart-Ass Inner Artist. And it's also the story of how I became a cartoon. It's rated PG-28. It all began when I was signed to Warner Brothers. Uh, things didn't go so well. The band broke up, went to band heaven, and I bailed without a safety net. In order to cope with this turn of events, I decided that I would draw my life in pictures instead of words. Um, these are some actual pages from my journal. <laughs> I had some issues. Uh, after about two weeks, you could see I was moving along at an amazingly rapid pace. <laughs> about this time, I decided I would put a new band together, and the drummer said, you're a little savage. And I said, what? <laughs> what does that mean? And I looked it up <laughs> in the dictionary, and it said, Sylvan of the forest. And I said, savage. I like that. So I began to develop my savage persona. In the beginning, she was a bit like a punk ballerina crossed with a Hawaiian tiki god. And uh, before long, bubbles emerged on the page, and uh, that idea of drawing my life in pictures without words didn't last very long because the cartoons took on a life of their own. If I could think, what would I? I got a real bad case of cartoon brain. I'm sure you've all felt this way. Uh, you get the latest, greatest upgrade, and you find out, well, does this really work? Is this what I expected? Hmm. So anyway, what I really want to talk about is the creative process. In the beginning, there's the cocooning and dreaming and assimilation. And ah, uh, yeah, it's not procrastination. It's uh, knowing the right time to begin. And of course, in the beginning, there's a lot of preparation and learning and what came before you. And of course, it's important to get to know the natives. And this is me in Chicago getting to know the Picasso sculpture there. Um, <laughs> that's part of our appreciation. Um, this was a sign on my door. I think all artists and cartoonists should warn their friends. Uh, see that blue cat? That is a composite between an ex-boyfriend and a feral guitarist. <laughs> There's Little Savage. You too could become a cartoon. And my one cent character. And whatever you feed will take over your life. Uh, before I knew it, the cartoons had taken up my room. They took up my time, my attention. And I had to learn to practice intentionally to patiently water my passion. It's only two days old. This is my psychic phone. I can call my muse. She's available 24-7. And uh, with this new model, I can call anywhere, anytime in the universe. Past, present, future, parents, dead, alive, whatever. I can call them up. And what might be on the other end of the line might be poetry. This is the exciting part. This is the part where you get those eureka moments. It's the 1% inspiration that gets you through that 99% perspiration. Breathe in, breathe out. And it's not all hearts and flowers. This is my family tree. I suppose you have one too. Uh, we are the product of our parents, our genetics, our environment, and the choices we make, and we all have hang-ups. But don't worry, it's just fodder. <laughs> and this is my little shih tzu, who is always there to remind me of my doubts and fears and my inadequacies, and uh, should I put all my eggs in the shopping cart? Uh, should I get a day job? Or is this really my plan B? And when one has accomplished or accumulated a body of work, the question becomes, well, what do I do with it now? Do I get a storage unit? Uh, do my inner children start paying the rent? Do I really have to face the business end? And which end is it? And uh, they both look like they're excreting. <laughs> 
And it is a savage market. I guess I have to face packaging myself and uh, finding my tribe and being louder than the rest of the noise in the noise sphere. And if I sell myself, am I still me? Am I just another potato chip? And I've never liked coloring books. I never liked to draw within the lines. And I never liked boxes, and I don't like being put in them. But my little scent character there says, boxes can also be for gifts. That's the friendly character. Well, don't try this at home unless you've done the plies, the stretches, and the warm-ups. It's not all about visualization and belief. There's a lot of practice that goes into that leap of faith as you leap across the chasm, or is it into the abyss? Hmm. And wow, I knew it. I knew I could get there. I'm finally here. Beginning is winning. I'm at the start line. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll have to start again. And of course, we know that eventually we have to face it. The end. Not really, but it's kind of the end. There's more books in the series than not a book series. And remember that you too can be savage. And uh, thank you very much. This is the end. The end, the end, really. <laughs> <laughs>